back to the channel, y'all. In this quick video, we're going to see what the Meguiar's High Tech Yellow Wax combo with the Dual Action Cleaner and Polish. I do here on my Black Jeep Cherry Keep Limited Track Hawk. We're going to see how much gloss will this actually give black. I actually got a little bit of overspray on it. That's typical. Let's see how much gloss we get from it anyway. All right, so we're going to do that. And let's get it, man. Let's get dark on us. Just try to work it. Got that pollen all everywhere. Let me put pollen on it. Wait. Pollen. <laughs> She's still here. Well, I wiped this part off, though. So, kind of block this in there. Anyway, let's see what we get. You can hear some of the overspray. That's all right, though. Maybe this will take it off soon. I'll put out a little bit of elbow grease on it. That combination is legit with the high-tech yellow wax. I see a little bit of it coming off. That high-tech yellow wax is good on dark colors and all colors. It'll do actually clean up to get everything right. You got to be really mind for that. That's some good stuff, man. Now, once you get to the point where you don't hear it as much, you know you're actually removing stuff. It's a good idea to clay it first. But I'm trying to see what it's going to do here. It's actually clearing. It's, it's getting some of that stuff off. But as it get quieter, then you know you're removing stuff. See here? Some of the blackness coming off. So that's telling me I'm actually removing some of that oxidation some of that paint mist some of that plain old bull crap <laughs> actually coming off the paint that's what it's telling yep the bull crap is coming off so what we gonna do we're gonna go on in here and buff the rest of the way and see what's up Right, it's much smoother coming off. So I'm fading a little bit on the fender, so I'll probably end up shooting this whole fender, fender eventually. I look up in here. I might end up having to paint the whole fender, sand it down, and spray it black. And some of the overspray is off it now. It's much smoother just by using these two products. Look at the gloss there. It's slicker. The gloss is much better now, as you can see. Oh yeah, it looks pretty good. Ain't really no excuse. That gloss, man. That this stuff will really gloss you out here now. To get you right. Check that out. That's pretty, man. I'd say even though it got a little bit of fading going on, but it still don't look bad. Ain't nothing perfect, but you know, like I said, it, it doesn't look bad, though. So I'll check that out. It ain't bad looking at all. Worst part is to the back back there. I got to paint it and do a little body work on that quarter panel back there. But I get it, I get it. Take a little time, but you know, I don't mind. I enjoy working on them anyway. So I get them, man. Y'all see how that paint just come right out? I hit it one time. I hit it with a high tech yellow wax. Boy, that is gloss. Hey. Stop playing with him. Stop playing with him. That is gloss. Hey. Check that out, y'all. That's freaking glossy. Stop playing with him. Oh, 
right. That bad boy is glossy. Right there. Alright. Yeah, that looks good. Got clean Alexis up, man. Pretty sure I ain't had time to really get on this one, but uh, we'll get to it. I sold the saw. Saw turbo. Yeah. Alexis clean, though. Got to do some touching up on it. But it's clean. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, I just want to share that with y'all, how good this does on black paints. You see it. Y'all put this combination together, man. Don't skip on it. Make black look new again. So, check that out. And this is an old paint, and it's still looking real good. Look good as freaking new now, Bob. Look at that. Tell me what this stuff want to do. Hit that subscribe, man. I'm out. Peace.